We always promote peace and dialogue. Our graduate will be an angel of peace and reconciliation with all Christian churches and all religious communities. Why then is this important for Islam and Turkey? Precisely because today it is a well-known secret that the Western world, Europe, the United States, and other countries are perplexed before Islam and uncertain as to how to relate to this. Sometimes they react to it with extreme aggression and suspicion, even fear. At other times, they respond to it with extreme laxity, syncretistically ignoring its history, ignoring its doctrine and specific features. Nevertheless, at Khalki and generally at Tefanar, Islam has been the daily experience for centuries. Indeed, it is a daily experience of exemplary, peaceful coexistence and cooperation, which cooperation has much to teach Europe and America. The student of Khalki will not only learn about Islam in the classroom, but will experience it on a daily basis, learning how to cultivate mutual respect and human love, so that when he is later ordained to the priesthood and assigned to a parish in some part of the world, he will feel comfortable about cooperating and peacefully coexisting with his Muslim neighbor as well as with his Roman Catholic or evangelical brother. I'm sure you all noticed a detail the other day while listening to the message of His All Holiness Patriarch Bartholomew on this screen. Together with his voice, you could hear the voice of the Imam of Fanar praying the Ezan, the Islamic call for prayer. The prayer was like a soundtrack to the patriarchal voice, not like something spoiling his message, but like the neighbor's prayer completing his message. The more Turkey strengthens patriarch's voice, the wider peaceful Turkish Islam's voice will be spread around the world. Ankara has to take this very seriously into account. Thus, it is the graduate of Khalki that will tear down the walls that separate us, just as the Berlin walls were once torn down. And there are certainly walls that must be shattered, such as the walls we have raised in our minds and hearts. These are precisely the walls that alienate Christians from Muslims, Orthodox from non-Orthodox, Turks from non-Turks. Halki knows, knows very well how to tear down walls. It also knows how to build, how to construct. It knows how to destroy walls and how to build bridges. It will tear down the walls of suspicion and erect bridges, bridges of love, of cooperation, and especially the bridge of Turkey's accession and full incorporation to the place where it belongs historically, geographically, and culturally, <coughs> namely Europe and the European Union. Such is the contribution of Halki to our world and to our country, Turkey. Finally, allow me to close this list of our school's characteristics 
with something that I consider very significant, the most important lesson, the lesson of love. As I am speaking of love, which is the essence of our faith, the proclamation of our church, the cause of our Lord's suffering on the cross. It is the lesson about not distinguishing between good and bad, sinful and holy people, pure and impure people, our people and the others, those who regularly attend to their church obligations and those who overlook these. This is where we learn that the church is for everyone because we are all saints and we are all sinners and Christ sacrificed himself for all of us. By the grace and will of God, this will be the next day of the school and it is not very far away at all. We do not expect another sign of goodwill from our government concerning Halki. Statements and signs of goodwill can no longer be considered as the signs of goodwill. What we expect is the decision. The decision to reopen this school after over 42 years of unfair injustice. Prime Minister Erdogan has proven that he can be a courageous leader. Thank you for your attention.